we might have just done it. We might have just found evidence that white holes do actually exist. It's unbelievable to think that for centuries in the past, black holes were just a theory. A theory that many thought was pure science fiction. We've managed to capture images of not just one black hole, but two in the recent past, and that in itself was an incredibly admirable feat. Now though, it looks like we're just getting started. Theoretically, the opposite of black holes, white holes, should exist, and now scientists might actually have discovered one. So, what exactly is a white hole, and how do we know they exist? Let's find out. To basically understand what a white hole is, we need to first get a hold of what a black hole actually is. The best possible way to describe a black hole is a region of space from which nothing, not even light, can escape. According to the general theory of relativity, it starts existing when space-time gets curved by a huge mass. There's a sphere around the black hole. If something goes inside the sphere, it cannot leave. This sphere is called the event horizon. A black hole is black because it absorbs all the light that hits it. It reflects nothing, just like a perfect black body in thermodynamics. Under quantum mechanics, black holes have a temperature and emit Hawking radiation, which makes them slowly get smaller. Additionally, one more thing to keep in mind is Hawking radiation, which is black body radiation emitted by a black hole due to quantum effects near the event horizon. It is named after the physicist Stephen Hawking, who provided a theoretical argument for its existence in 1974. People can't see black holes because there is no light they can get out. They are essentially invisible. Using space telescopes with special tools can help find black holes. The special tools can help astronomers understand how stars close to black holes act differently than other stars. Black holes can be big or small. The smallest black holes are as small as just one atom, according to scientists. Black holes are tiny and have massive amounts of mass. Another kind of black hole is called stellar. Its mass can be up to 20 times greater than the sun's. There may be countless black holes in Earth's galaxy, the Milky Way. The largest black holes are called supermassive. Black holes have masses that are beyond one million times the mass of our sun. Scientists have found that every large galaxy has a supermassive black hole at its center. Sagittarius A is the supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way. It has a mass equal to about four million suns and would fit inside a giant ball that could hold a few million Earths. Okay, now since we have a far idea of what black holes are, we can move on to the big question. A white hole is a strange cosmic object which is intensely bright and from which matter gushes rather than disappears. In other words, it's the opposite of a black hole. Unlike black holes, there is no consensus about how white holes would be formed or whether they exist. Einstein's theory of gravity predicts them, and they are most often mentioned in the context of wormholes, in which a black hole acts as the entry point to a tunnel through space and time, ending in a white hole. Einstein's theory predicts the existence of a singularity at the center of black holes, which would prevent anything from passing through to the white hole on the other side. Some people think that Einstein's theory and quantum theory point to a new way of thinking about white holes. These events may not be the exit from a black hole, but rather a slow motion replay of the original black hole's formation. When an old large star collapses under its weight and forms a black hole, the process begins. But then, quantum effects occurring around the surface of the black hole will stop further collapse to a singularity and instead will gradually begin to turn the black hole into a white hole that will spew out the original star matter again. Though the process is extremely slow, and we previously thought that we'd have to wait for a very long time to find out if white holes actually exist. For a while, white holes seem to share the fate of wormholes, mathematically permissible contortions of space-time likely prohibited by reality. However, some physicists have tried to save their darker siblings by bringing white holes back into the picture. Since physicist Stephen Hawking realized in the 1970s that black holes leak energy, scientists have debated how the entities could possibly shrivel up and die. 
what happens to the internal record of everything that was swallowed when a black hole is gone? General relativity will not allow the information to be deleted, and quantum mechanics will not allow it to be. Carlo Rovelli, a theoretical physicist at the Centre de Physique Théorique in France, said, How does a black hole die? We don't know. How is a white hole born? Maybe a white hole is the death of a black hole. The two questions join nicely, but you have to violate the general relativity equations in the passage from one to the other. A founder of quantum loop gravity, Rovelli is trying to move beyond general relativity by describing space as built from Lego-style particles. He and others describe a scenario in which a black hole grows so small that it no longer obeys the rules of stars and billiards guided by tools from this framework. The black hole could transform into a white hole if quantum randomness took over on the particle level. A microgram-sized white hole being similar in mass to a human hair would have none of the gravitational drama of its black hole ancestor, but would contain a cavernous interior containing the information on everything it had swallowed in its previous life. The white hole is too small to attract much matter, but it will eventually spit out all the information accumulated by its predecessors. White holes would eventually dominate the universe after the stars have burned out and black holes have withered. Those days are countless trillions of times the current age of the universe in the future, but any observers could easily detect the objects as relatively large particles. Alternatively, the aftermath of a white hole may be found everywhere. The Big Bang's explosion of matter and energy looks like white hole behavior to black hole physicists. Some cosmologists refer to this picture as the Big Bounce, and others search for white hole characteristics in the earliest observable light in the universe. The explanation for this is increasingly unlikely, but Rovelli wonders if violent radio bursts represent the cries of theoretical mini black holes left over from the Big Bang as they make an early transition into white holes. General relativity may not allow the universe to take all the forms it allows, but physicists should follow this rabbit hole to the end. Hal Haggard, a theoretical physicist at Bard College in New York, says, why wouldn't you investigate whether white holes have interesting consequences? It may be that those consequences aren't what you expected, but it would be foolhardy to ignore them. <laughs>